Hey guys, welcome out to the range. Today we're going to run some drills. It has been almost a month, I think, since I shot uh, any rifles. And um, anyways, uh, I like to come out periodically and run drills just to stay current. And sometimes I get you know the full tactical gear on, and other times I just come out in my everyday stuff and just run the drills with the rifle for the hand manipulation and that kind of thing. Um, and I'm running my rifle standards, which are free for download on the website. And um, this is the short version, which I guess I could probably put this this uh, art this uh, thing up too. But uh, I took a, uh, a plastic clipboard from Walmart and I hacked it to pieces, and I put pistol on this side, rifle on that side. And the first one is ready, position, fire one shot in one second, ten yards. Um, it's typically done on a 10 inch circle. I have to check. I'm, now I'm trying to remember. It's either a 10 inch circle or a 6 inch circle. Anyways, that's a 6 inch circle. The PT Hostage Swinger uh, target from um, Action Targets has a lollipop on it, but I've also taken away roughly half of it by only painting the, the outer edge white to really force me to focus in kind of bright out here to focus in exactly where I need to be putting that shot because this is a rifle a rifle gives you surgical precision at speed great right, here we go uh, ready position fire one shot ready position can be here as long as I can see the feet of the person standing on the ground this is a ready up position so from here it's just snap and fire Ooh, that's gonna be a tight timeline 108 Oh, and I've also got this target sitting out in front to further complicate matters to simulate a person standing in the way on top of the hostage over there who's also um, in the way. Good. So that was a good, the first shot was a good, decent shot well inside of the white. The second one, no doubt, will be because I actually saw where the, where the shot broke. 0.89, much better. Point eight six. We'll do it one more time. Good. All right. Point nine five. Move on. Ready position. Fire four shots. Do I have four? Yes, I do. Oh crud! I just realized. I just realized I can't do. Well, we're gonna have to skip this one because I'm working off of a lollipop. It's not hard, anyways. You can definitely get four shots in two seconds. So we'll move on to hanging, fire one shot. All right, hanging. Actually, this is a great, the reason I'm doing this video is to talk about pads, um, the shoulder pads for the uh, for the slings. Um, one of my viewers made a comment about shoulder pads on my slings, about how I should integrate a shoulder pad into the sling, but the reason I don't is there's bungee. The reason you want a shoulder pad is because that sling is just, is beating you right here and here. And it's and every time that you walk with your rifle, your rifle is doing this. Actually, it's doing. It actually tends to do this motion. It goes down and rotate, down and rotate. And what the bungee does is it's a shock absorber, and it takes the rifle trying to poke at you. The abuse is taken out by the bungee. And I'm telling you guys, I've spent days on end wearing heavy, heavier rifles than, than this 13.7. Um, heavy rifles because back in the day I was into billet rifles and those things were like nine pounds and this is like six pounds and change but those things would just beat on you but my slings back then I was running single point slings but they had bungee in them um, the the bungee eats up the weight of the rifle and it's just bordering on beautiful how nicely it, it manages that rifle for you hanging fire one shot so hanging is from a hanging position and it's actually meant to be from a stored position so if you've got a slider that means your weapon is placed where it is going to be in a stored position which is typically going to be here off to the side your sidearm is here or here but you want it out of the way of the ability to get to your handgun um, stored is right there so that when you're walking with it 
you have the ability to walk without that rifle hitting you in the knee, hitting you on the outer edge of the thigh, and yet it's easily accessible for when you need it. The cool thing about the Tier 1 Citizen two-point slings, which is why I run two-point slings across the board now, with the exception of my home defense gun, two-point slings behave so close to a single-point sling that you actually end up with the best of both worlds. No sliders, no adjustments. You set the tension where you want it to be, and then you leave it there permanently. And when you need the gun, the gun right here, it's already under tension. It's brought up, you can fire, and then bring it back, and it pulls the gun right back into your body. And if you want to store, your support hand grabs the stock and you push out and rotate. And the weapon sticks to your back. You can go to a knee, you can do anything you want to do, and the, and the rifle is just sucked up against your body. And when you need it again, you bring it around, and you place the stock to your shoulder, and you're in instant control of the gun. Yeah. It's almost like I did my homework. I did. So, hanging position, fire one shot, two seconds. One, five, three. And by the way, hanging position isn't this. It's this and this. It's standing. I mean, you can even do, you can even do that. But it's standing. It isn't like, yeah, I'm being a smart aleck. One, five, nine. On target, empty chamber, tap rack, bang. All right. This is basically, for whatever reason, you've somehow managed to bring a rifle to your shoulder that doesn't have one in the chamber. Maybe you inserted a mag, gave it a push-pull, EPC closed, and forgot to rack the thing. Maybe you got distracted by someone, but the point is, your chamber is empty. And that's 240. On target, empty chamber, tap rack, bang. So on target, empty chamber, tap rack, bang means safety off, finger on trigger, slack taken up. Man, that was on the edge. 225. Yeah, you notice, like, you're, you're scraping in there. I worked these numbers up hard. I mean, I worked really, really hard on these numbers to make sure that I was giving you guys standards that actually required work from you. Two, two, four. Good. Move on. On target, fire one shot. Emergency reload, fire one shot. Three, one, four. You know, rifle is interesting in that it is, it is a, it's a discipline that if you don't handle the gun regularly, you forget all the tiny little nuances that make running a gun a, a, a thing of proficiency. But um, the very basics of running a rifle are very straightforward. It's just all the, the little doodads that you have to remember how to run. On target, fire one shot. Emergency reload, fire one shot. 325. And I did that in 314. Oh, got a handful of shirt. Got a handful of shirt. I get for assuming. Getting that mag in there. Getting that mag in there. Two nine six. Not bad. Not bad. One more and then we'll move on. All right, on target, stovepipe, pull trigger, clear rifle, fire one shot. And that's three flat. There's your stovepipe. There's your mag, push pull. Charging handle forward. These are training mags and they are old as dirt. 
and they're even cracked. The feed lips are actually cracked on them and they just keep running. <laughs> Miss! You did it on camera, Abner. Two, four, two, moving on. All right, that last one, I don't do it anymore because it burns through, it burns through a good round. On target, double feed, pull trigger, clear rifle, fire one shot. And what that means is you put an empty casing in the chamber and you put a live mag in the gun and then you lower the bolt against the first round in the mag and this locks the mag into the rifle so it won't freely fall out when you eject it. This requires you to then eject and strip manually, retain this magazine, rack, rack, rack the gun. But that means that you've ended up with the first round, excuse me, getting partially mangled and then getting the mag back in and racking it and hoping you had a clean extraction of everything. It's just, I have found that I consistently booger up live ammo, you know, live round after live round after live round. So I don't really do that one anymore. Not to mention that's 7.75 seconds. That's an eternity. That's like clear the gun and grab a sandwich. So um, I do these drills on a regular basis because I want to make sure that I am staying current on my rifle. And I did this video today because I wanted to show you guys that all the manipulation that I was doing with the gun, I never once feel that the gun is beating up my neck or my clavicle, all because of the bungee that I've sewn into the sling. Um, these slings are just, they're, they're the simplest thing you can possibly put on your gun. There's nothing to get hung up on. It's not a busy sling setup. It is one inch military specification webbing. Everything I use is, is, um, is a military specification and it's all 100% US made, which is why my stuff can't leave the country um, because of ITAR regulations. But um, quality, literal quality. And, um, but guys, I hand stitch quality into every sling that I make. As always, I thank you guys for your support. I thank you for your donations and your sling purchases to keep this channel independent and moving forward. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.